Hello guys, I'm Beyu Babi, your host for the wonderful show Curiosity Made Me Ask. Our guest today used to be a big deal in the past. Now he insults people's daddy and money <laughs> to remain relevant. Something funny. Uh, no, no, no. I was just laughing. I thought of my mommy and daddy and I started laughing. <laughs> it's a funny thing. No, don't worry. Continue, please. Sorry. Moving on. Moving on. You said... You didn't even mention my name. What kind of broadcaster are you? How can you just introduce somebody? You don't mention their name. You think because this is YouTube, you are, not a, bro you are a broadcaster now. So the tenet of broadcasting, after introducing the guy that used to be a big deal, you should say his name. Hi. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The guy that used to be, that <laughs> used to be a big deal, Frank mm -hmm. Edowu. Ed yes, yes. Anyhow you pronounce it, that's great. Thank you. Uh -huh. And you're supposed to say you're welcome to the show. Right. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> If, although it was said begrudgingly, but I'll accept that. You said a man can cheat on his partner and still love his partner. Mm -hmm. Are there many dumb statements like that in your head? Or this is the only one? Well, you know, only women feel it's a dumb statement. So if you are secretly revealing your gender, that's good for you, no problem. But all men know yeah, those ones, they need brass. Mm -hmm. So, what I said was that the way a man is made, the DNA of a man, it's possible for a man to cheat on somebody, on his partner, and still be love, in love with that partner. But women don't have that. But that is not to say that you should give the man the pass to do that. There are men that don't cheat. So I said what I said. Don't you think so? I mean... Okay, sorry, you don't have any woman in your life, okay? Sorry, go on. Uh, moving on. When they fired you from hosting who wants to be a millionaire, did you cry? No, I didn't cry because I wasn't fired, I left. Who wants to be a millionaire, the first one. I am still the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, actually. So um, I left because I was negotiating to be something bigger in that ecosystem. So our negotiations came to a deadlock. So I left for five years. And after leaving for five years, new people came, t took over the show. I was still called to present the show. So I'm still the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It shows that when you are at the top, of your craft, delay is not denial. Ebuka. Oh. Joseph Benjamin. Beautiful. IK. Have you ever called these people to advise you on how to be a successful TV host? Okay, call. <laughs> call who? Ebuka, uh, IK, and Joseph Benjamin. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been in broadcasting before all those people and um, I, 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 I like to think they look up to me in some way for some aspects of their career. So yes, it's just like the way I look up to greats like Cyril Stober, John Momo, Elizabeth Nze, Sienna Razak Lawal, Teresa Isien, Jones Usain. I can name, I am, I'm standing on the shoulders Are those of footballers of names? Oh. Uh, you, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know because you know, when Sienna Razak Lawal last casted news, I think your parents didn't even think of having you. So, those are broadcasting royalty. I wanted to come here. If you ask me a question, I ask you too. Because nobody, asks, nobody has asked you any question. Is that fair? So why don't you do it? I'm, I'm the master question asker. Why don't I ask you a question? Like what? Should I ask you the question? I'm listening. Okay. 
why is it that the only this show of course is like a version of Zach Galifianakis's Between Two Ferns so why is it that the only thing you copied from that show that show has humor great hosts great guests and everything why is it that the only thing you copied from that show was Zach Galifianakis's pot belly Mm. Moving on. Your turn. Mm. Next question. Okay. Why was it hard for you to do anything sensible after we wants to be a millionaire? Oh. Good question. That is a very good question, but very ignorant question. You know why I say that? Because of all the things I do, who wants to be a millionaire is the least. So, I'm a director, I'm a cinematographer, I'm a Black Magic Design Certified Colorist. I learned that during the pandemic. I am the foremost interior design photographer in Nigeria because my wife is an interior designer, so I learned it so that I could help her in her craft. You know, I do voiceovers, I do presentations. In terms of production, I produced Nemasa this week as I was the producer for two and a half years. So, um, who wants to be a millionaire is just something I do to show you people, ah, I can present who. But what I really do, there are a lot of, a plethora of other things I do, like hosting events. I just came back from the Sierra Awards in Las Vegas one month ago. They came with a limo to the airport. I hosted the event and um, I stayed two days and we traversed the Las Vegas Strip and they brought me back home. So, I have been hosting events for the past two decades. Anybody that says he wants to be a millionaire is the main thing I do. <laughs> that person is ignorant. I think it's the most relevant thing you've ever done. Well, you know, it's just like James Bond. Now, when Sean Connery did James Bond, he was the first James Bond, Dr. No. He did James Bond. Tell me the movie that was as classic as Sean Connery's James Bond movies after he left. Tell me one movie that was a classic. None. So I think I was just burdened with getting to the top instead of going through the ranks. Once to be a millionaire is the top show. You can't do, really do anything above that in terms of game shows. So that's why. How does it feel to be over 50 and irrelevant? Over 50 and irrelevant. Well, after I just told you about my relevance, now you're, you're, you're not a really good broadcaster. Are you? So, those things you mentioned, mm -hmm. what if I tell you I and many viewers are just knowing that about you now? That's how it's supposed to be because if. That's how irrelevant you say that. <laughs> no, 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 you're wrong. You know why I say you're wrong? Because. It's only a fool that will go and show everything he does. After you show everything you do, people will be waiting for the next thing. Now that I've told them, he just uncovers new layers and says that this guy is so mysterious, he does everything. Hmm, I wonder what he has next. Then I'll bring one other thing that I didn't publicize. We don't take pictures. We just do our things with our silent clientele. What? You know the name of this show, Curiosity Made Me Ask. So, remove that ask. Curiosity Made Me. I think you should change it. Remove the ask. We know who made you. It should be, the name of this show should be Macaroni Made Me. Remove the ask. Macaroni made me. Macaroni featured you now. It was the one I gave you the this thing. I featured you. Everybody saw you. Everybody loved you. That's before the sex for roll things thing that you did, you know, that thing. So in other words, right now, apart from the fact that you are a poor version of Zach Galifianakis, you are also a very great version of Harvey Weinstein. If don't stutter, it's your show. Uh, uh, um, let's leave 
things that are in the past. Uh -uh. In the past. Okay. You get me? Okay. Okay. Let's talk about what's happening now. Yes. Okay. Because if God has forgiven me and the world has forgiven me and I've learned my lessons. No, I have forgiven you. Me especially. If I didn't forgive you, I wouldn't come for this show. I forgive you. And I notice there are no women in your crew. Is that like you are, are you trying to prove that you don't do things like that again? I or? never did anything like that. But oh, oh, okay. Let's leave that allegation. Okay, it's an allegation. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Frank Edu. That's my name. Don't wear it. You Damn. are one of the biggest show on YouTube right now. Don't lie. Did you ever think you were worthy and relevant enough to be on the show? Which show are you talking about? This show. This show is the biggest show on YouTube. Can't um, verify. No, based on what? Based on what? Is, is it biggest show in Nigeria? YouTube Nigeria? Yes. Oh, really? What, what's your highest view? Over a million. Over a million? I didn't see that. Though. I checked. I watched everything. I watched the one with um, the footballer. I watched the one with Kate Henshaw. Okay, over a million. The one with... Um, is it Bob Risky? Is it that one? Okay. And that's what's making you feel you're the biggest. I have two videos over a million. Oh. Okay. So, are you saying it's a privilege for me to be here? Is that Isn't it? it? A privilege for me to be here. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a privilege for you. How? Uh, I graced your show with my presence. Everybody has been clamoring for it, asking for it. Even you, you know, people are saying, when is Frank going to come? When is Frank going to come? I promised them I'll go easy on you. And I'm calm. I'm answering your questions like a professional. What is, this name is, this uh, Bayou Barbie. Is it that you are a fan of Nicki Minaj? Do you know that anyhow I think of how you compose that name, it comes down to a female. So, is it that Barbie is a female doll? Barbies, they are the fans of Nicki Minaj. So which one is it? Bay you Barbie? Or is it that you barb your hair? No, no, that can't, can't be. So, how did you come? Is it not ridiculous that mm. Someone like you is considered a legend just Thank because you. you hosted a 10 million naira TV show. No, that, I mean, that show is not a 10 million naira TV show. Because Do you know the camera? How much did you buy your cameras here? Yeah. I mean, if the, the highest, are you talking about the production? How much we put the into The highest it? money that someone that, won. Yes, someone can win. Yeah. Ten it's, million. Million. it's 10 million. Okay, and you said we shouldn't go into the past. That's the past. Now it's 20 million. If we don't go into the past, we'll, we'll have nothing to say about you. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I just told you right now that I'm hosting events all over the world. That we don't know about. You don't have to know about. That's, that's, that's the thing. I, I don't think I want to do something that nobody will know about. You did something already that nobody knew about. Let's just move on. No, no, why are we moving on? Let's just move on. <laughs> Is it because you are broke? That's why you just say rubbish on Twitter to get that Elon Musk money? Um, first of all, I've not monetized my Twitter account, my ex account. I've not monetized it. I have millions of views when people look for my trouble, you know, so it goes viral and all that. But I don't monetize that. And speaking about broke, what are you talking about? Since 2007, I've driven like five models of Range Rover. So, uh, Range Rover is parked outside. So, um, broke is subjective. If it was Elon Musk himself, or, pardon me, if it was maybe Dangote himself that was saying I was broke, I would, uh, I would say okay. But dude, you can't, you can't say I'm broke now because first of all, your car outside there, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. You can't compare that old money to, to this new money. You say old money? Money to this new money. Uh, no, my car is a newer model than yours. So, the old money is you. Maybe that's because I don't spend my money on stuff like On that. frivolous things like that, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you spend your money on? Because what I'm seeing, the way you are, <laughs> the, your food budget is high. It must be very high because that thing. I don't know. 
Your dad is a very hand was a handsome man. Your dad was slim. So you decided to double his heritage in terms of his looks. You doubled his, you know, everything. That's good. Okay. At least people know my dad. Oh, no, no, no. People don't know my dad at all. My dad died like five years ago. People didn't know him, but he's living in me because he taught me how to speak. And I use that to make money. So, my dad lives in me. You! Maybe you ate your dad because this is your stomach. I don't even know. So he lives in you somehow. Hmm. Uh, there was a time when people say the name Frank Edo. Mm -hmm. First thing that comes to mind is that man that who wants to be a millionaire host. Mm. But now when we hear Frank Edo, what comes to mind is that old man that cannot act his age on Twitter. How does that feel? I really act my age on Twitter because if someone, if I insult an elder, I'll be punished. So I'm an elder. Someone insults me, I'm acting my age. I'm putting them right. I'm not going to leave Twitter for anybody because it was in my era that Twitter came. So you young guys, you feel, oh, Twitter is yours. Twitter is not yours. Twitter is ours. So, if anybody insults, if my mates and my colleagues don't want to put them right, I am representing them. And I'll put them right. Simple as that. And that is acting my age. But you, on the other hand, you are not acting your age, truly, because you are a 28-year-old guy trapped in the body of a 65-year-old man. So, I think your body needs to act its age. Is it just me or who wants to be a millionaire was really not worth the hype? It's, it's just you. I feel like there was, there was not so much things going on then. To okay. Like That's when we had a lot of shows. We had Project Fame. We had Big Brother. We had, we had Project Fame, Big Brother. We had Idols. We had Temptation Nigeria. We had a lot of shows. A lot of shows. Companies are supposed to come out and sponsor these shows back, like Project Fame is supposed to be on the air again because it made many stars. Yanya, a lot of them. So there were many things happening. Now, nothing is happening. That's why your show is watched by a decent followership. You know, do you know we didn't even have the internet then? Do you know, do you know what that means? That means the show was popular not because of internet like yours. So, enjoy the internet, my brother. Enjoy. We don't see you on suit like that time in wants to be a millionaire. Did they call, did they call everything back? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> well, do you know the secret? I hated suits. I hated wearing suits. Even I just wear this, I'll be like, oh, I'll just remove it. When it's done, I go back to my... See how I'm dressed now? This is how I used to dress since. I'm still really a boy. Oh. On suits? Nah. I hated suits, but people said, ah, they like me in suits. So when I go for events, I just show them a bit of that. And before you know it, when I get into the car after an event, I'm taking it off, I'm wearing my t-shirt, and go back to my jeans. So, you know, they didn't take it back. As a matter of fact, they give me suits. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Fresh. Fresh by Dotun. I want to give a shout out to Aramanda, those people. I wear clothes for free. Oh. What about you? Who's, who, who, made, who does all these hoodies for you? You have the, those, these are your three hoodies you wear on the show. Who, who, who sponsored it? What do you mean three hoodies? It's three. Now I've seen these things. There's only three colors I've seen on the, on the thing. When I look, you do it. But sometimes, because of these smart guys, I feel that they can now tweak the hue of that and change it for you. So they'll do it post-production and everything. Because but the way I'm seeing it, it looks like it's one. Come, is there no drink in this show? You mean to tell me that you brought Kate Henshaw? You brought Kate Henshaw 
Bob Risky, you Kiki, you brought uh, Simi, you brought who who else again? You brought all of those people. You didn't even offer them a drink. We just came here. Uh, the Let's thing present. is, my guests, they mostly are fine from home. They always have something to drink. From home? Yes. Okay. They're not always thirsty or mm, okay. need somebody need something to drink. Mm. And to where they're supposed to be working. Oh. You understand? Okay, so they settle themselves at home before coming. Yeah, do you tell them to do that before coming? They are just smart enough to know, to, to to, know that they should, they should do that. Okay, I think me, I was stupid enough to know you could afford drinks here. I mean, I didn't say that, but if you say so, who am I to argue with you? No, yeah, I was very stupid. I, I, that stupidity, it can't happen again. Next time, I'll bring my drinks. So I think I'll call you next time. No, no, no. When I say next time I'll bring my drinks, I'm, to, oh, I'm actually talking about macaroni. Macaroni is even better. Macaroni gave me a drink when I went for a skit. Do you, you know I went for macaroni skit? The trend that was viral. I went for macaroni and shaggy. They gave me drinks immediately I came. But you know, I think it's drinks. It has to do with someone who is trending in the skit market. So someone that is a former skit maker, we will not be, you know, we'll be too broke to afford drinks that I drink. Okay, so it's so okay. The truth is, uh, the irony. You can of write it down. You irony, can send me an email if you don't have an answer. The now. irony of all this is, I respect you more than they respect you. You say you respect? Ask, yes, ask me how. How? I don't see you as an alcoholic, as a drunk. Okay, I, 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 I didn't tell you that the drinks were alcohol. So it's juice? It's juice? Juice? You want me to kill your pocket? Water. Make it pure if you like. Pure water. I'll manage. Because the budget of this show, self, you know, even the AC is not working. The AC is not working. You go and put the washing machine there as if you wash your clothes. <laughs> How often do you get depressed? As a Chelsea fan? Um, whenever I get depressed as a Chelsea fan in London, all I have to do is remember the two times we won the Champions League. That's all. And happiness, streams of joy just emanate from everywhere. How, how long would that keep helping you? You say what? How long would that keep helping you? Oh, it keeps helping me all the time. You have to win. We are the only club in London that has won the Champions League. So that alone, Satisfied. What, what club do you support? Us now. <laughs> Sorry, that laughter was in my head. It, it, it came out. I, I apologize. <laughs> you know what? Arsenal, I, I applaud Arsenal. Arsenal, they've come second back to back two times. So you know what I call Arsenal? Second to none. I'll take that. Nice. Ah. So, I'll take that. Ah, man. We'll take that. No, it's better to, 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 to come from the bottom mm. to second. Now to go from I've carried Champions League before mm -hmm. to like nine or ten. Oh yes. Oh, no, first of all, Champions League is not Premiership. They are two different competitions. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm just answering. So you have to win the Champions League to be the king of London. You cannot be a local champion. And besides. That trophy that makes you a local champion, you've not won it for two decades. You've not won any major trophy for two decades. It's only FA Cup and Community Shield. I've won it 30 years ago. It's no difference to I've won, I won it 10 years ago. They're all in the past. Uh, we, don't, we, we don't struggle uh, Premier League uh, with you people because we know that you have a lot of you know, league titles in your, trophy, in your trophy cabinet. So, Chelsea fans, we don't argue, we're not deluded like Arsenal fans. Arsenal fans, we're winning this thing, you've been saying it every year, this is our year, this is our year. Why should you say this is our year 20 times? This is our year, this is, you've not, Chelsea fans, eh, if we lose one match, the whole Chelsea fans will curse everybody, we'll curse ourselves, because we're not deluded. That's why we've won two Champions League and the only chance at the European trophy you had to, to, to you know, the Europa, the one, remember that one now? <laughs> that your former player headed it. 
And after he won, he said, thank you, Arsenal. Any other question from the Arsenal side of things? The money you were charging me to have you on the show, did you make it when you had a job as a TV host? Oh, you mean the money you, you that I charge you? Yes. The money you were asking for, did you make it when you were hosting Wants to Be a Millionaire? For all the years I hosted Wants to Be a Millionaire, if I want to calculate the money, I'm sure you're going to retire right now. I was the foremost presenter in Nigeria. I go to places, I go to link shopping in Sweden. People recognize me. In link shopping, not, I'm not talking about the Swedish capital. I'm not talking about Stockholm. Foremost head of my industry. Now I'm teaching people how to speak like me. By the way, my course is coming. Speak like me, but don't buy the course. You, can. you, you, you can't speak like me. There's no need. Don't buy that course. I'll give it for you free, but it's going to be a waste because you will not speak like me. You can never speak like me. So, hmm, I'm on the top of my game. It shows you that when I'm sleeping, I'm still at the top of my game. Are you the top of your game, though? What game is this? Tell me your closest competitor. That's the thing. I don't know who is second or third. I just know I'm the first. Yeah, you are the first to copy a show badly. I Zach Galifianakis now, his, his, stomach, his big stomach is rumbling right now. You copied it wrongly. You don't bring drinks. Do you think when he had Obama there or Matthew McConaughey, he didn't give them drinks? Huh? That's why Kate Henshaw was angry at you. No drinks. Everybody's angry at you. I'm wondering, why are they so angry? This guy is a nice guy. He's trying to be a nice guy. It's just a question. It's just answer. I didn't know it had to do with drinks. I better hurry up. I'm thirsty. What's your advice for TV hosts out there hmm. that never want to run out of juice like you did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ran out of juice. I know I, I, you stop being out. Run out of juice. I am the juice. I don't run out of juice. But the advice I have for you not to run out of juice is make sure that you buy all your juice from Ebano because the way it is, you drink a lot. Is that your final answer? You don't have the right to say that as a broke man. That can't give his guests drinks. On who wants to be a millionaire, I feed, I feed the whole audience. You're not saying, is that your final answer? Don't ever say that with an empty pocket again in your life. Cool. Yeah, Shady Show is going to be the first one to be one hour on your program. You are just milking me. Eh? You are just milking the opportunity. Everybody is 20 something seconds. My own has reached 40 minutes already. Hmm? Don't you think I'm doing a great job as Curiosity made me ask host that you ever did as who wants to be a millionaire host? No, no. Even if I answer that question, I think the fans of who wants to be a millionaire will be very annoyed and livid at me. What did you do that is so special? Um, a, B, C, D. No, 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 no. What, what did you do that is so special? Excuse me. The only time I said A was when I was reading the question to the audience. When I read the question, I don't say A, B, C, D. We only say it like, hey, audience, it's time for you to answer this question. A, this is because they have A, B, C, D. We don't say A, B, C, D. So anyway, you didn't, you, you didn't used to watch the show. No, what was the special uh, thing you did on the show? You asked questions that never come from your head. Mm -hmm. It is quite that was written or programmed down already. Very rich coming from someone who has a big blackboard that is reading questions from. Look at what you I doing. wrote it. Oh, and I didn't write the questions. I think all this mouth you are making is that Zach Galifianakis doesn't know that you pirated his show. So let me send him a DM. Hello, sir. Yeah. yeah. We are not here for that. We are not here for that. <laughs> And I think <laughs> if ever who wants to be a millionaire wants to hear again, mm -hmm. I think they should think of changing the host. Okay, who do you suggest? Who do you think? 
I don't want to mention names, but mm. who do you think? Well, I, for for who wants to be a millionaire, you would you you would do a very good job, uh, you know, supplying small chops to the audience members. That's all I can see. That's the only role I can see in that show for you, because we love small chops there, you know. So you can you, you can do that. So yeah, you know, you can host everybody with small chops. For Jesus of who wants to be a millionaire, please go and watch my other episodes and see if I will not be I will not be a better host for you guys. <laughs> Already they were asked me for your number for small jobs. <laughs> that idea is brilliant. I don't know how I came up with it, but it's great. You know. We look forward to seeing you there. But don't eat it all before you give people. Please. Many years ago, when you mattered, <laughs> did you make any wise decisions? Yes, I made very wise decisions in my life. Yes, I did. Okay, you want me to tell the wise decision? Opening Twitter. Opening Twitter account. Oh, opening Twitter account to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. How can you say I'm staying relevant on Twitter? I don't even have up to 400,000 followers. But the only time there's a chance for Frank Edo to trend or to be sp spoken about is mm. if he just yaps somebody's father and mother out. No, 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 no. I don't yap. Um, it's, a, it's called a, re a response. So if somebody insults me, I, how do you respond to, to, to an idiot? What is the short thing that you can tell an idiot? Because if you tell him anything else, it won't pain him. What's that thing that will hurt that idiot that said that? It's his father and mother. It goes without saying. It always pains them. As a matter of fact, it pains some other people. Why are you insulting? Keep it. Why are you insulting his parents? But I'm a parent myself. So you insulted a I parent. I won't know what would pain an idiot because I'm not an idiot. You said what? I won't know what would pain an idiot because I'm not an idiot. Oh, okay. So okay. I have to ask an idiot to do that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. You have to ask an idiot to do. <laughs> so, what do you think would pain an idiot? Uh, oh, pain an idiot. Ah, oh, pain an idiot if if you tell him that. You can't afford drinks in this one show. That idiot, it will pain him. Oh. Mm -hmm. And also, another thing that will pain an idiot is that if you tell him that um, he stole a show from someone and he's, not, he's, he's doing it badly. Whether I stole it or not, Oh, you agree you stole it? I, I do not. Whether I stole it or not, yeah, okay. the Coco is. Mm -hmm. The Coco is the bad. It is the show they are talking about right now. Talking about the show because of your guests. Mm -hmm. Because of your guests. You have the best guests. Now, why do I have the best guests? Because I have a good program. No, you are a good beggar. Mm. To beg them to come. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tensha wanted to beat you up that, that day. Oh. I wanted to beat you up. Kiki slapped you. Then um, the footballer. Ah, uh, shy. The footballer was the host. You were the guest. Before we end this episode, I just want you to know that if Evoca and Co. Mm -hmm. they have Things that are occupying them. Mm. Won't be here. Well, Ebuka is doing Big Brother. That is that, that's he's doing Big Brother. He's hosting a show. That's so what I'm saying. Doing, if, not, if he's not busy, you won't be here. Okay, okay, you chose me. I settled for you. You settled for me. Okay, Ebuka turned you down. Who else turned you down? He didn't turn me down. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. He Why is busy? Oh, you assume that Ebuka is busy. No, 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 you assume that Ebuka is so busy that he can't come for this show. Uh, 
It's working. I just saw that okay, this man does not have a job at the moment. He's just <laughs> always on Twitter. He will easily say yes to come. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you're right because he wants to be a millionaire in the off season, so I can do a lot of things. So one of these, yeah, I decided to come with my presence here to, you know, you know, do the show to to do it. So you are right in a way. Mm -hmm. I'm right. Yeah, but but me coming to the show, you have been bullying people. So the, for the first time, you are just the representation of that idiot on Twitter that I always wanted to sit face to face with and let them be talking things and let me be answering. And from what I see, if you are the ultimate representation of that, I mean, it's idiots don't really have anything upstairs. Because I'm supposed to be sweating. Your show is supposed to make. If I take that seat and you sit here, I'll have you sweating in 30 seconds. Try me. You know what they say. Have around and find out. So I understand that this show you book people back to back, back. So who's coming up next? And the person you will bring that will trump me is JJ Okocha. Do you want to bring JJ Okocha? Yeah. I could call him for you. Oh, I see the interest in your eyes. Oh, I could call JJ Okocha for you right now. I'm bringing for you if you want. Or you want Victor Simen. Um, Victor Simen. He signed a personal jersey and sent it to me. You want that? You are smiling. You are exposing your greed for all these people. So you didn't even know how to reach all these people though, in the first place. Oh, man. I thought you had the network. Okay. Okay, it's by begging. Bros, I'm still here in your deal. <laughs> Bros, I do. <laughs> don't forget me. You've been calling me since since night. You don't sleep. Last night, you've been texting me, bro. I said, dude, leave me alone. I'm coming. And I came here on time. Bagam. Just to show you. Keep my word. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll connect you to all those, those other people. What about Nancy? Are you bringing Nancy? Nancy my, Nancy's my friend. I go. Tell her to come. He's smiling. <laughs> you rarely smile in this way. It is sweet you because you now know you have the ultimate connect, you know. Okay. okay. Um, if you can do all these things you said just now, then to show me that um, you are really a legend. You know what? I'm starting to believe I'm not a legend. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. But I think you are. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a legend. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Find your guest by yourself. I'm not a legend. Ah, no, no. Uh -uh. Me, a whole, someone that mattered before. What are they going to, going to hang up the phone now. They will hang up the phone. So. Do you know this thing that you brought here? Do you know the name of this game? X and O. X and O. I did not ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X and O. You that you don't know how to buy drink. You are calling XO. You are calling XO here. You know the name of drink, but you can't buy it for. What's the name of this thing you say, XO? X and O. All you know is just to steal someone's shoe. Don't even know names of the things that are around you. Tic Tac Toe. I think it's a big disrespect to me and everything I you stand for. To, to, to be saying that I stole somebody's shoe. You it's, stole between the two fans. I got between two fans. I got an idea. From between if two fans. I don't, if I don't do this for you all, do you think Zach will ever come to somebody like you to, to interview somebody like you? Zach Galifianakis. Whoever. I prefer I prefer Jimmy Kimmel to, to interview me. And you know why? Because Jimmy Kimmel is a presenter of who wants to be a millionaire in the US. I chat with him all the time. Jeremy Clarkson is UK. I chat with him. Why? We are colleagues. Okay. Zach Galifianakis presents a show in one backyard. Like at least he gives his guests drinks. You are here. Fucking. I'm going home. Hmm? You're going home. 
You can't be going or you can leave. Oh, uh, uh, no vex now. Why now? Why? You're yeah. not even going to do the outro. And that's the end for <laughs> a once upon a time celebrity. <laughs> Well, okay, I, and I want to thank, thank the host of this show. <laughs> Is, oh, Bayou Barbie. Your name should be Bayou Golly. You know why? Because if I want to use the doll reference, Bayou Barbie doll, if I want to use another doll, it should be Bayou Golly. You know what Golly is? Full meaning, Gollywog. Google it. Bay you golly. That's how I'm going to call you. I'm going to put this program, I'm going to put the link there. Say, I had a good time with Bay you golly. Walk. You know what golly walk is? One black doll like this. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this is not the show you're supposed to even be invited to. You should be on this guy's show. Do you remember this man? He used to, he's that kind of show you should be on. Which? No, no, what's the name of that show? The guy's always saying, do you remember this man? He talked about people that oh. have forgotten. Okay, and the, and, and the person will come. Yeah. The person comes on the show. Or he will just, it's just like a reference. Do you remember this guy? And the person will come on the show because the person needs it. You understand? Mm. The person has been forgotten. Okay. So that's just it. So well. That's kind of show you should be on. Do you remember this man? He used to host uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what they are saying about you in the skit world. Do you remember this man? He used to do skits. I was one of the best when I was making skits. Now, you are making waves with a stolen show. This drink that you do not give me, this is, that's what's causing all this problem. Could you just give me a drink, I'll come, some things I'll laugh, I'll not answer. Now, see. I bet. I'm the ah, that one be if there's no drink, that means food. <laughs> you will die hungry in this trip. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Please, you wanted to say something. Sorry. I know you have nothing to do. Nothing. To do. <laughs> I know you have no important place to, to, to go. Yes. But please, it's time to leave. That's why I'm not in a hurry. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have anything to do, like you said. Uh -uh. Out of all the questions I asked you, I avoided one out of respect. Go, please, ask me. You don't want to hear yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, please. Hit me. Bass, let's go. Do you have to take the paper to remember the question? Let's just leave it at this. No. Mm -mm. About that. that question, you go ask that question. Let's leave the question you so eh? you can be able to keep your second marriage. Let's My, just leave the question. See, see, see. see. Like, firstly, marriage is not an achievement. Which people told you that marriage is an achievement? Marriage is not an achievement. Marriage is just two people coming together and agreeing to live together for the rest of their lives. And if one marriage breaks, it's not the end of the world. And if you leave your marriage, it's not the end of the world. Like the girl you wanted to date for, you know, and give her a role and have sex with her, you understand? You guys broke up. Have you died? Have you died? You haven't. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you all. Uh, uh, why are you thanking them? What did they do? I'm the one you should. Uh, uh. So, so yeah, just leave it like that. Ah, uh, so that means that was the hot seat for you. It was really a hot seat. Yeah.